What's going on YouTube? This is Tazbot. We are back with some more Hogwarts Legacy. So we are continuing on that mission where we left off with Miss Professor Weasley asking us to do some stuff. So we're going to do that now. I'm not sure why it's doing what it's why it did that and told me to go that way, but I listened to it. And we're off. Hi, kitty. I wish I could pet the cats, but I can't. So that's a bummer. Clicked field guide pages. So this should be easy. Um, I mean, who knows what we're going to encounter along the way to these field guide pages. But... Shouldn't be too difficult. It's weird. Sometimes there's fall damage, sometimes there isn't. Freaked me out for a second. I forgot you can dive for stuff too in the lakes, but now I don't know since it's winter if that stuff's like frozen over. Oops. I forgot I'm running. Hmm. The underground. My mother would like to speak with you. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm okay. Well, that's awkward. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? We may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Hauntel Hall. Okay. Getting more and more missions here. Thank you. Excuse me, guys. I didn't realize it was all the way back in Hogwarts. I thought we were going somewhere else. I think I'm going to the library right now, right? Don't know what any of that means. Rebellion. Underground harbor? What? Did I know this existed? <laughs> I guess I did because I'm just like going right through it. Hmm. Let's see. So this is the underground harbor. Oh. Stupid rock skipping. Okay. Rebellious. Underground Harbor Collected. <laughs> My goodness.
I don't know that this was the smart way to go. Especially since I'm looking at all this snow. But it's the way I chose to go. Like, can't I just teleport to there? It's like on the map, right? Yeah, I'll go to the library. I mean, I don't need to swim and do all that stuff. As I was just talking about diving more and yeah. Weasley asked me to uh, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no. <laughs> okay, so. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. Oh my. Students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're in um, start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Man, I feel like I didn't learn enough. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Um, the golden snidget? The golden snidget. Correct. The snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Brown. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Oh, I know this. Felix Felicis. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Founders Rail. The Deathly Hallows, I guess. Yeah. The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consist of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Yep. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a quiz, this is interesting, but man, if you didn't know much about Harry Potter, it would be infuriating. True or false? False. False. Correct. While Polyboost Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I can ask you. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do that. Easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I'm sure I'll have to come back and I'll see put the her. Back on the pedestal for you. Rebe Rebellion needs to make quick work of this. Professor Weasley tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Um, Transfiguration, how close is that? What? There's no Transfiguration class one? Okay. 
I guess here. I don't know. It looked close, but I think there's a lawn between them. So maybe it's not. I don't know. We will find out. Hmm. I've been through this hall like tons of times. How did I miss that? Down. I'm trying to advance the time. Let's go. <laughs> Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be soulless. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Okay. Whatever, I missed it. It doesn't matter. So that's my last yellow spell, I believe. so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork, Monsieur. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular <laughs> activities. <laughs> Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake Connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time. And you'll want to be well prepared. If I have to actually take an OWL exam or anything, that would be terrible. Time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Okay, cool. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training gun is here. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the Okay. It dawned on me about the triptych near me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Oh, but I have another idea. I think we may. 
may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our mate mentioning something about gobbledygook. Hello, Gareth. So, has your aunt been taking it a bit easier on you lately? Unfortunately, no. In fact, a few days ago, she gave me a detention. I was only testing a new recipe in a, mostly, empty classroom, and the fire was put out quick enough. You don't create anything worthwhile without setting a few things on fire. Agreed. <laughs> like us are unappreciated in our time. Can't let the doubters sway me. When they taste my latest brew, they'll forget their criticisms and the fires. It'll be bigger than Butterbeer. Oh, that gives me an idea. Better write it down. Best of luck to you. Let's see what quests we have. Oh, we completed challenge. Oh, yep. Yeah. We completed all of our classes, I guess. Um, what quest do we have now? In the shadow of the mine. Meet Sebastian by the overlook. Speak with a meat. Um, we'll go meet with Sebastian in the Undercroft. I don't think it'll take that long. I have a feeling it's a setup for another thing. I may be wrong. It's all entirely possible, actually. I have the ability to teleport to the Undercroft, don't I? Yeah, it's right by the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, I think. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Something like that. We'll hop on into the Undercroft and see what Sebastian needs. Hopefully nothing crazy. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Okay, cool. And don't feel sorry for ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. Rebellion. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Okay, so they had a row. I am not letting this go. Ominous. Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. 
Oh wow. Nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Knows us buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect of the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic. Oh, so that wasn't a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. Okay. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. Hmm, okay. It would mean a lot. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this episode, guys. Please click like and thumbs up if you enjoyed the series. Comment if you have any questions about what we're doing and why we chose to do what we did. But most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.